radical redistribution of power and wealth in this country. Keep up the fight. We need a radical redistribution of power and wealth in this country. There's been study after study that says that when you raise taxes, people stay in the state. They don't move away. So, you know, it's just disingenuous that people say that if you raise their taxes, they're going to move to Pennsylvania or something. Uh, opponents of it say, well, you're just going to drive more people out of the state. So be it. Say good, there, don't let the door hit you in the ass, to be honest with you. We don't mock community organizers here. We don't ridicule them. We don't scorn them. We salute them. And it is not just a bad budget, brothers and sisters. This is yet another right-wing attempt to dismantle 50 years of social progress and 50 years of reform, and we will not stand for it. We need a radical redistribution of power and wealth in this country. We're the ones that need the assistance. I'm pretty sure that millionaires have more than enough money to go around. Right, so no classes then at all? I think we gotta get rid of class society, right? I mean, that's, that's where I'm coming from. The only way you can really get that is if industry is controlled by the people who work in it. If, if workplaces are democratically run by, you know, the people who work there, and the country is run by a federation of those. So, okay. I mean, that's, that's where I'm coming from. Workers in this country need to like, start to get a political framework that is able to enable them to actually say no to that. And it's, it's uh, you know, you look at around the world and you look at different countries, let's like, say like Greece, for example, the Greek government wants to impose austerity, like very harsh austerity measure on the working class. And the uh, Greek workers are saying no. They're, they're, they're not taking it. So they are rebelling. This should happen here in this country. Mm -hmm. However, to, for this to happen, we need to build this kind of like political movement that I'm talking about. The Take Back Trenton Coalition is calling for a campaign of nonviolent civil disobedience and disruptive protests. These politicians need to put our needs first. They need to put them first. The Republicans might be a lost cause, but the party, the supposed party of working class interests, need to work for us. And damn it, they will work for us. They say cut back. future of the state of New Jersey is at stake. Can we get a pension plan and benefits that's the best of the best. That's what we got. That's why we're all here today. Not for our own pockets, for the state of New Jersey. We're here to save a pension. Don't let the door hit you in the ass. Sisters and brothers and friends and colleagues, working together, fighting together, we will win together for social and economic justice. Work their asses off and, and teachers and firemen and police running. He wants to cut your budgets. He wants to hurt your pensions and your benefits. He's not going to take one extra dime from all the millionaires and they can afford it. I can't believe that. Can you believe that? NJEA from our brothers and sisters and other unions. He is wrong. We are not the problem.